Hi, I'm Monika is here with Music Interview Affairs, and I'm here with your Vegas. So, hello. Hi. <laughs> what is the most annoying question you've ever been asked? Um, most annoying question? Probably well, the one we get the name. asked the most is the one about yeah. why we call you Vegas, so we answer that all the time. It's not that it's an annoying question, it's just answering it so many times. It's, but we don't like it. So, where'd you get your name? <laughs> um, the name came from. I mean, I just know what I'm doing. My people ask me because they're a band from England with a name, mm -hmm. you know, United States. So. But um, yeah, it was, it was a song that we had. Uh, a song written, not really about Las Vegas, a song that's just sort of about escaping. And um, it's a song we had been sort of before, uh, shortly before we formed. And uh, we were trying to find a name for a long time. And we'd have uh, we'd have nice drinking and putting names in hats and picking them out. Everything that we finally settled on was uh, either taken by somebody else or um, or was just rubbish. So so eventually someone suggested your Vegas so we were like, yeah right. And it was free. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so well did you find that escape during this tour? Uh yeah. I mean I guess I guess in a way the whole sort of year and a half is um, been a, it's been a bit like that. We're from a small town outside Leeds where there's sort of more sheep than people and you know, it's a bit of nowhere to Signing to an American label and moving to New York and recording the record in New Jersey and New York and, um, and then touring America, I guess it's, yeah, it's been there. What's the word? Um, there's a lot of that out there. Prophecy, fulfill prophecies out there, I guess. Yeah. So what are some of the personal stories or influences behind your songs? Um, they're, they're different, I mean, Birds of Paradise and The Way the War Was Won are sort of comments on society and war and the world. And some of them are just straight up love songs, like uh, Salvador and uh, another one. Some of them are broken heart songs, I wish you were somewhere else. And, um, in my head and things like that, all times. Um, but some of them are just about, you know, every you know, life and moving and change. Like most of my heartbreak, they're all influenced by different things. So, so uh, with the video, with the war, the war was one. Was that your idea for the concept of the music video, or did you collaborate with the directors? Yeah, we had uh, uh, a guy we met in New York. Uh, he was. Um, he heard the song and he is a di uh, video director in New York and um, said he wanted, uh, at the time we had no budget, we were still unsigned uh, and he said um, that he'd, he'd, he'd do the video for free, he had these great ideas and, and um, you know, he seemed to really get the, the emotion and the uh, message of the song and you know, it worked really well and we went in and did it in a day and on a Sunday, which is really nice when to go up with Sunday. 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 Yeah. And uh, yeah, we went in and did it, and it was yeah, it turned out really, really good. We're really happy with it. So. What's your personal favorite track on the album? Um, probably Birds of Paradise, yeah. probably for, for all of us. Yeah, it's just, it's just great to play live as well. So yeah. Yeah. Probably that's yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah, Birds of Paradise for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a favorite venue so far? Last night was a really great show. That was um, we played. Uh, Terminal 5 in New York. Um, New York is sort of our adopted new hometown, I guess, and um, and it was the biggest of all the venues on this tour as well. So that was really good. But um, the, the, throughout the whole tour, there's been amazing venues and some little quirky ones here and there as well, which have been nice. I'm trying to think of uh, uh, the Dallas um, 20th Century Theatre in Dallas. It's like it's used as a wedding hall as well. Yeah, on the stage, like Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah, Cincinnati. Yeah, Cincinnati. Um, yeah, it had like plants and drapes and all over the stage with like um, lamps in the theatre. So that was strange, but it was cool. Yeah, good place. Though. We're all been great. I mean, Newport Music Hall in Columbus was a really good one for us. Yeah, it was a good big venue. It was a good crowd. Sickness going around on all the buses, yeah. Yeah, every member of every band, apart from Matt from Switches, every member of every band and every crew has had a book at one point. And your band broke a carry times, right? Or so it's your band. Van broke, yeah. Uh, van broke something 
what, what went wrong it with the battle? The belt tensioner or something. Yeah. And then um, also, oh, we ran the battery, we ran down, the battery well. down and uh, we left the PlayStation on overnight. Um, <laughs> so yes, it's a in the morning, like minus 20 or something, so it's like four. Yeah, it was fun, we had a little, you know, a lunch and uh, made, made friends with the local garage. Yeah. Well, the, van, the van's been good, she's been, I mean, we've done about, I don't even know how many, what, 12? Ten thousand miles? Ten and a half thousand miles we've done. In like the last five weeks, it's been crazy. We drove over the, uh, the, the Sierra Mountains. Oh, we did? When we are coming from... Oregon, Portland to Sacramento and that was, that was snow, <laughs> it was like <laughs> snow was like everywhere, sheet sheet there, like, <laughs> the roads were just sheet ice so we had to use uh, snow chains which we got stuck on one of the wheels and we had to like, mm. it was about half an hour in the middle of the night to get off and we were in like back, which would be like one to each side and we just like, uh, <laughs> we had Mal on drum roll, sorry Mal's incidentally not here, he's just playing any noise and going down so, um, yeah, Mal was on a bear watch outside the van just in case. Well, we're getting these snow chains. 